Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome in uh, Rotterdam. There was a need for an EU urban agenda because there was an increasing recognition that cities face specific challenges such as air quality or affordable housing or urban poverty that they cannot deal with alone. There was a general European movement to get more influence for cities, to have them a place at the table. Eurocities has always pushed for an urban agenda for the EU because we believe that cities should be sitting around the table with member states and uh, the European institutions to create a better Europe. Key tools of the urban agenda are first and foremost the partnerships. We have developed 12 partnerships together with member states, uh, cities and the European institutions, especially the European Commission. They work together, even today, while preparing the action plans, they, they see where are the weaknesses of European policies. These partnerships are working on finding workable solutions for better regulation, better funding and better knowledge, addressing gaps, looking at what can be simplified, looking at how we can dig further into knowledge uh, in urban areas. Air quality is uh, a very important issue uh, for the urban environment. Much of the um, uh, air pollution in cities is from traffic and the traffic management is something that they have to uh, address. Besides the awareness raising of the general public, we collected a lot of good examples of how you can make an air quality plan. But from this experience we now want to develop a code of good practice that other cities can use. When it comes to housing and uh, housing in Europe, we face uh, an incredible affordability crisis. We have more than 82 million EU citizens who cannot afford housing anymore. The partnership already developed one very concrete paper, uh, which is a guidance on state aid, because we think that the current EU state aid roles are in fact blocking investment that would be possible on local level, especially on city level, to create affordable housing. The Urban Poverty Partnership decided to focus on four priority areas, the regeneration of deprived neighbourhoods, child poverty and two extreme forms of poverty that we can see very concretely in cities, homelessness and the vulnerability of Roma people. What numbers show us is that around 70% of the migrants and refugees settle in cities and from that moment on cities are responsible for the housing, the reception, work and education of migrants and refugees. So one of the concrete actions or projects that we are currently delivering is the setting up of a European Migrant Advisory Board. These people will work in cities on concrete inclusion uh, projects but they will also advise European uh, Commission and European institutions in Brussels on better uh, integration policies. We are looking into how cities could reuse water better at the, end of the moment. The EU regulations are hindering reuse of water and we want to change this. The Year Back to Programme is all about exchange and learning. So we have um, the tools and uh, we have a direct access to more than 250 cities actually around Europe and very importantly some quite small and medium-sized cities which are quite difficult to reach and uh, obviously Urbact can act as a, a bridge. I represent the city of Cork but there are many other Corks that are out there and I suppose now we have a voice on the EU urban agenda. We actually fund innovative projects the knowledge we generate or has been generated through these projects uh, then goes out and is disseminated um, and hopefully used by other uh, areas across Europe. What we do is trying to uh, control the material flows through the city. It's about the soil that is uh, created out of construction work in the city and the part of this soil will be mixed with the uh, bio waste which will be uh, then turned into into compost and mixed together. The goal of the project is to put all utility companies in the city in the circular uh, business model. So as the EU bank, the EIB as you would imagine is primarily involved in supporting the better funding pillar of the EU urban agenda and we're active also in terms of advice because we, uh, we provide advice to clients on financing so we're also supporting the better knowledge pillar and we're active in eight of the partnerships, so we're leading a number of actions on better financing in, in different partnerships. 
Act has brought a new working method where cities, um, member states and the European Commission work together directly and discuss together. And this has brought also an increased awareness for all of the actors to um, solve these problems together and to create more livable, more inspiring and more inclusive cities for all.